So there are three possible incisions when uh, performing a penile implant. So there is the infrapubic or an incision above the penis that is transverse usually. There is a transverse uh, incision below the penis uh, across the scrotum. And then there is the vertical uh, incision in, in the scrotum. The best incision is the vertical incision which is on the rafe from a cosmetic point of view it will heal without any scarring and um, you're going to see the next video is going to be on discussing in detail the advantages and disadvantages of each approach there are many different ways of doing a penile implant uh, and i want to talk today about the different types of incisions um, i also want to highlight some of the advantages and the disadvantages of each incision so there are three possible incisions when doing a penile implant. So this illustrates an incision that is above the penis, also um, referred to as, as infrapubic or suprapubic incision. So it's a transverse incision above the penis. Then you have the transverse incision that is below the penis into the scrotum. And, and then the, finally you have what we call the vertical penoscrotal incision or scrotal incision, which uh, is on the rafe, which is aligned between the two testicles. As you can see from this illustration, when the incision heals, the incision that is going to be the most discreet and the most uh, cosmetically appealing will be the vertical uh, incision in, in the scrotum. Why? Because it heals over a rafe or the line that men have between the uh, two uh, testicles in the scrotum. And so it's, it, it's concealed uh, on that uh, line. Now the transverse scrotal incision is something that's uh, been uh, popularized recently. And that uh, gives you a scar across the scrotum, which is very visible. And I believe uh, not the best for the patient. The infrapubic incision is more discreet uh, than the transverse scroll incision because it, you have a pubic hair that can, it can hide it. However, if one uh, shaves, you can see the scar there. And again, it's less discreet. Now let's talk about what are some of the advantages of each incision. And, this, and I first want to talk about the incision that is above the penis, which is the infrapubic incision. So this is illustrated over here. And what you can see, and this is the skin line, and this is the muscle tissue that is before the, the, uh, right before the abdominus rectus muscle. And one of the disadvantages of this incision is when you approach the body of the penis and you make a cut over here, the tubing that exits the shaft of the penis exits at the 12 o'clock position, and then one needs to make a 180 degree turn to get to the scrotum and put the pump in the scrotum. The disadvantage of that is now you have tubing that is palpable on the side of the penis near the root of the penis and some patients will complain that the tube is bothering and it's less discreet, it's more palpable by a patient. For example, during oral sex a patient may notice, a patient's partner may notice that there is tubing there. In addition, what you can see here is that the incision on the shaft of the penis to put the implant is above the body plane. So that part of the penis that used to stretch now is gonna have scar tissue and you're gonna have this tubing over here below the skin which is going to reduce the functional length of the penis to, to when one has intercourse. In other words, this area here is compressible during intercourse and if you have scar tissue here or tubing it prevents the patient from in, uh, deeper penetration and so it, again it can be uh, felt by the partner and uh, for that reason it is not my uh, preferred approach. So this illustrates the transverse infrapubic incision uh, for insertion of the penile implant and now we're going to switch gears and we're going to show you the advantages of the penoscrotal incision. This is the vertical penoscrotal incision on the rafe. And what you can see here is that by making this incision, one can access the penis below the body plane. 
So this part of the penis doesn't have any surgery, no scar tissue, and there's nothing here to prevent from the suprapubic area or the area above the pubis, above the penis, to be compressed during lovemaking. And so one can achieve a deeper uh, vaginal penetration. The tubing that exits the shaft of the cylinders is now deep in the scrotum, below the body plane. This is the body plane, this is the abdominus rectus muscle, so it's very um, concealed, cannot be palpated by the uh, uh, partner. And so from a, a cosmetic point of view, there's no uh, better incision than the vertical scrotal incision. The incision is hid hidden, the tubing is concealed, and it is the best for the patient. It is a little more challenging for the doctor because one needs to be experienced in placing the reservoir through this uh, tiny incision. So this is the vertical scrotal incision, and I strongly believe that this is the best approach to placing a penile implant from a cosmetic point of view, from a functional point of view, it is the best for the patient. Again, this is, illustrates the skin above the pubis, this is the fat over here, and this is the abdominus rectus muscle where the, uh, where the uh, 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 body plane resides, and you want to put the tubing below the uh, body plane. Thank you.